let us study the charge distribution on a system of large parallel metal plates. To understand the distribution on parallel plates, let's first discuss a situation in which we are given with the, a large metal plate which is of surface area A and a charge Q is given to the plate. We know that in case of a metal body, whole of its charge will reside on the outer surface of the body. So, whenever we supply a charge and the plate is very large and uniform, we can say that overall charge is uniformly distributed on the two surfaces of the plate, front as well as on the rear surface. And uh, overall charge, if it is uniformly divided, it will be plus Q by 2 and plus Q by 2 distributed on the two surfaces. And in the situation for each surface, uh, we can find out the surface charge density which should be equal to sigma is equals to Q by 2 by A, that is Q by 2 A coulomb per meter square. Now in this situation we can see that on both the sides electric line of forces are originated in the direction away from the metal plate and as the plate is considered to be large, the electric field will be uniform and on either side we can see that the magnitude of electric field due to the metal plate is sigma by epsilon naught. So, it will be Q by 2A epsilon naught. On left side also, it will be in the direction away from the sheet and uh, the magnitude of electric field will be sigma by epsilon naught or Q by 2A epsilon naught. This is the way how the charges are distributed. Now, let us consider one more situation in which we are given with a metal plate with the charge Q. Again, if its area is considered to be A, then for a large uniform plate, it is distributed as Q by 2 and Q by 2 on the two faces. And uh, the electric flux is originated on uh, both of these uh, sides. And that will be Q by 2 epsilon naught and Q by 2 epsilon naught in the direction away from the plate. Now, let us consider a situation in which uh, an uncharged metal plate, which is also very large, is kept in front of one of the face of the sheet, say if this is a plate X, this is a plate Y which is uncharged and is kept in front of uh, the plate X and parallel to it. As we know that no electric line can penetrate the metal body, due to this positive charge some negative charges are induced on the front face of this plate Y or the facing plate of uh, Y on which these electric lines will start terminating as metal cannot be penetrated by these electric lines. And as the plates are very large, we can see that the whole of electric flux originated from this face will terminate onto the front face of the plate Y. That means to absorb the whole electric flux, exactly minus Q by 2 charge will be induced over here. And as the plate is neutral on the other face, exactly plus Q by 2 will be induced and which will further originate the same amount of electric lines in the other direction. And we can see in this situation, no net electric field will exist in between the volume of these metal plates. So, we can say whenever an uncharged plate is kept in front of a charged plate, Always the facing surface of the plate will carry an equal and opposite induced charge on it. Even if this plate is charged, we'll see on the next sheet with an example that even if the second plate is charged, we can see that always the charges on the facing surface of this plate must be exactly opposite to these charges because whichever flux is originated from this face has to terminate on this face because no electric line can penetrate. Let's continue on the next sheet with an example. In continuation, let's discuss a situation in which we are given with two large metal plates which are parallel to each other. See, these plates are X and Y and so on one plate a charge Q1 and on other plate a charge Q2 is given. And uh, here we are required to find the distribution of charges on uh, different faces of these plates. Then let us first consider only Q1 and if we consider Q2 is not present here, then we can say that uh, this Q1 will be uniformly distributed 
in such a way that it is q1 by 2 and q1 by 2 on the two faces and due to this q1 by 2 a charge minus q1 by 2 and plus q1 by 2 is induced on the plate y if q2 is not present and if q2 is considered and we ignore q1 then we can say this q2 will be distributed uniformly on the two faces of this plate as a plus q2 by 2 and plus q2 by 2 and due to this an equal and opposite charge is induced over here minus q2 by 2 and plus q2 by 2 and if both of these charges are present then we can say that in the final situation all these induction will take place simultaneously and on the left face the total charge will be q1 plus q2 by 2 on the rightmost face of the split y again we can say it is q1 plus q2 by 2 on the inner face of plate x we can say it is q1 minus q2 by 2 and on the inner face of y we can see it is negative of q1 minus q2 by 2 here again we can see what we have discussed on the previous sheet that the facing surfaces of the two plates will carry equal and opposite charges and one more concept we can deduce here that on the system of plate always the outer surfaces of the system will carry equal and same polarity charges this also we can write on a note that uh, in a system of large isolated parallel metal plates the charges are distributed in such a way that always the facing surfaces of plates carry equal and opposite polarity charges which we have just now discussed uh, it is uh, because of uh, charge induction in such a way that uh, whole of the flux originated from one phase has to terminate on the other phase that's why facing surfaces carry equal and opposite polarity charges and outer surfaces of system that means the leftmost and the rightmost surface of this system of plates carry equal charges that is of same polarity also always be careful about it we'll discuss uh, some different examples based on this also